So let's talk about automation runbooks. In order to set up an automation runbook, you first need to have what's called an automation account. So an automation account is an Azure resource that's used to just help you manage automating some features of VMs. So from the Azure portal or for PowerShell, you can do process automation, configuration and update management from an automation account. And you can use scripts. Sometimes Azure even provides some structure around doing on automating these features. You have an exam objective that talks about automation runbooks. So let's discuss now what a runbook is. It's a PowerShell script and they've existed in Windows for some time, just as a way to um, encapsulate a set of, well, a PowerShell script that you want to use to um, change features on a machine, on a VM. So automation runbooks just import that feature into Azure and then allow you to uh, store the runbook in your automation account and then either run it in an Azure environment to control some Azure resources, or in some cases, you can even have it automatically download to a VM you have on-prem and run in that VM environment. So a collection of these runbooks in an automation account could allow you to manage some resources in Azure. It could also allow you to manage resources you have or VMs you have on-prem. So the hybrid runbook worker is the a service you would have to download and install on on-prem VMs in order to use or push runbooks to them. But the collection of these features makes an automation account something that you be can begin to use to manage and automate your Azure environment. Anytime you execute a runbook from your automation account, the output from the runbook, so if, it, if there's any um, messages that come out from the runbook script, they're captured back in your automation account and you can review them. You can schedule runbooks. So you can run things on a schedule if you want to check VMs, check free space, and maybe clean up files on VM disks. You could write a PowerShell script that does that, run it on a schedule, and you can begin to see how this could help you sort of manage your environment. There's two main types of runbooks, graphical runbooks, and then PowerShell runbooks, also Python, if you want to write Python script. So the graphical runbooks allow a drag and drop design. There's a designer in the portal where you can design your script. The other type, the PowerShell runbook, is basically just a PowerShell file. So whatever you can write in PowerShell, you can run in a runbook on a VM. So let's look at an example of doing a PowerShell runbook from an automation account. Azure has a resource called Automation Account, which helps you automate the management of VMs. Let's create one in the marketplace. Search for automation. Click create an account name. Choose the regular subscription resource group. The location is where your automation information will be stored, but it, it is not local in the sense you can have you can access VMs that are in other regions. You also usually want to leave on this choice to create an Azure Run As account. It creates an account in Azure Active Directory, which facilitates accessing VMs via the automation scripts you're going to run. I'll click Create here. I'll pause the video and come back when this is finished. OK, my automation account is finished. Go to the resource. Automation accounts can be used for several tasks, including configuration management and update management. There's an exam objective that is create and execute a runbook. So that's where I'm going to go. You can create a runbook from scratch or import one or browse the gallery. This gallery is going to move to GitHub, but at that point, when it's in GitHub, you can import the gallery from GitHub. Let's do this simple hello world for Azure Automation. So a runbook is a PowerShell script. This is a very simple one that just writes out hello world or hello value of some parameter you pass in. If this is the script that you want, you import it, give it a name, click OK. It's imported into your gallery, your automation account, and there it is. Now you can modify this. Notice the authoring status is new when you first bring it in. And you can edit it. In fact, you must edit it the first time. 
in order to publish it. You can only run a run book that's been published. Modify it if you like, leave it as is if you like, click publish. Now I'll go back to my automation account. You can see that this has been published. I can execute the run book on start. I'll fill in a parameter. This will run in an Azure environment and any output is captured back and stored in Azure. You can see the run book is starting and it's completed. I can go to the output and there's hello Ray. So obviously a very simple run book. But if you can write it in PowerShell, you can run it in a runbook. So you can access any VMs in your subscription. You can start and stop VMs. You could install services on VMs. You can do anything that you can write in PowerShell. You can access from PowerShell. Notice you can link a runbook to a schedule. So you can create schedules in your automation account, which allows you to further automate resources so you don't have to manually start your runbook.